was down ticking on a down tick on the the volatility uh the volatility algorithms so that's wrong so i know that there's a, likely to be a price reversal so i'm trying to buy into that price reversal and uh, you can see that buying into that price reversal there i was watching this bookseller coming in so i wasn't going to jump too soon and then the the bookseller started to diverge at the lows there was, they weren't bringing any stops in at all. The gamma turned around, the, the, uh, the uh, tick line turned around, and I crossed the spread to get involved, and we managed to swing a quick, uh, managed to swing a quick hit profit into that deal. Just as exactly, I mean, it's not exactly the most, uh, the most obvious earth-shattering trade. I'm not claiming it is. But obviously, when you start to zoom into these little changes, you can see that the uh, take away the big spike, it is pretty obvious that that's a down candle on a down line. So the volatility algorithms will definitely bid the S&P, or you would imagine the algorithms will try and bid the S&P back up because it, it basically it's like an arbitrage trade on a one candle basis, right? It's like uh, the bond equivalent of the, it's like the bonds doing a DVO1 adjustment. It's not necessarily a buy trade or a sell trade because there's a big swing in it. Well, the DVO1s is not about a big swing trade, is it? It's about readjusting the bank's DVO1 exposures, right? So it's about the bank adjusting the DVO1 exposures. That's what the DVO1 adjustment is about. Well, this is the same. It's about them adjusting the volatility exposures on this down tick. It doesn't make sense. So when it doesn't make sense, you can see this candle here makes perfect sense. This candle is perfectly in line with what the volatility pricing is doing. And as a result, there's no trade in terms of any type of opportunity. So that's obviously something we just keep watching for, especially when it comes into big volumes. We start to watch these big volume increases because that might be more than just an adjustment. And sometimes it is more than just an adjustment. So quite an interesting little, uh, quite an interesting little trade, quite an interesting little uh, kind of idea. And uh, we'll we'll see how it, uh, as I said, see how it develops going forward. In classroom, guys, a uh, couple of minutes, uh, probably five minutes, we'll get into classroom. So I'm watching this up 